Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel. And today I have a very special book subscription box unboxing for you because it is the second selection of our book club. Yes, on this channel we have a book club that we run out of the private Facebook group which is called the Nobot Nook. Nobots are what we call viewers of this channel for a variety of reasons. And then we have the book club over there as well and we call it the Nobot Book Nook. I know it gets a little bit confusing but if you want to check it out like I said I will leave a link for that Facebook group in the description box below so we decided to have authentic books sort of help us with our selections for the first year because they were actually uh, nominated and voted the best book subscription last year in our nobody awards which is just amongst the viewers of this channel essentially so basically each quarter we do a little poll over in the Facebook group and decide what our book selection is going to be and that's one of the reasons this is a great subscription box to do this with because there are always three options every single month and we just decided to do a quarterly basis just to kind of keep it more manageable so basically what I have to share with you today is the April box so it usually comes towards the end of the month so what we do is we have our scheduled readings our reading read-along dates and it usually takes us about a month so we do three weeks worth of discussions over in the Facebook group again led by the amazing Priscilla and then we do a live stream discussion as well just to kind of cap it off so We've been reading this April box in May, and then we are set to have our final discussion. It should be tonight uh, around 5 or 6, I'm not totally sure, Pacific time. And it's always kind of fun just to see what everyone thinks. Now, you do not have to be a subscriber of Authentic Books to join in on the book club. You can get an audiobook, you can get a library book, or you can get the box of any size. It's just a way for us to sort of uh, enjoy a subscription box if you do have the opportunity to get it, but also to have some fun discussions over in our Facebook group. Now, if you are going to subscribe uh, and be a part of our book club, there is a special discount, but if you're just watching this and you're like looking for a good book subscription box, I do have a code for you. It's Noel 10 and that will save you 10%. Let me tell you about the different size boxes they have. So the whole idea with authentic books is that one, we get to have some really highly anticipated new novels in a variety of genres. There's usually some romance, there's usually a thriller, and there's usually more of a contemporary fiction and she tries to really bring that to life through all of the senses, right? So with the mini box, uh, it's $42 per month plus shipping, which I believe the shipping is now $9.99. You get the book that you've selected. Again, three options. You get a bookmark, the booklet that kind of guides you through the process. You get a candle, and they're often uh, collabs now with the actual author, Natisha Can Swing It, which I think is awesome. A Spotify playlist and a donation to an organization, and I think they are still supporting Supporting, uh, the Adopt a Classroom Foundation, 5% of the proceeds go to that, which I think is awesome, as well as a touch item, right? Because you have the candle for the sense of smell, you have the book for the sense of sight, and then you get a touch item, which is usually a self-care item or, so, or something. Then there's the next level up, which is $52 per month plus shipping. And then you get all of the things that were in the mini, and that's the full box. So, but on top of that, you get a tea um, a coffee or a cocktail ingredient. I usually go for the cocktail ingredient, but those are the three options. So you get a taste item and then you get a second touch item. So you get two extra items in that size box. Then, if you do the premium experience, which is what I highly suggest, you get even more. So you get everything that was in the full. Uh, so you get the candle, you get the bookmark, you get the playlist, you get the book, of course. You also get three touch items. So you get an extra touch item, you get the tea, coffee, or drink mix, and you get some premium chocolate, which I love that. So I think it's really fun, and she does such a fantastic job with it. But basically, if you think about it, she is curating three different boxes every single month because there's three different book selections and then three different tiers of each of those so it's just quite the endeavor I think it's really impressive this is sent to me for review and I am so grateful because it's really gotten me back into reading and I just love interacting with some of the viewers of this channel the Nobots, with our new book club so if you join now you should be in time because we will be making our selection I believe we'll be selecting a July box which we should receive at the end of July and I think we'll be reading it in August if that makes sense so yes this was the April one um, so we wound up discussing it in May and June 
So that should be about right. We should be getting the July box, which we'll probably be reading and discussing in August. Now, this is an example of a book, and it is the Lonely Hearts Book Club by Lucy Gilmore, which, so this was more of the, like, contemporary fiction. Um, so I'm not usually one for the romances, but I'm sure one of these days that's what's going to get selected over in the Nobot Nook. Uh, it was a paperback. Usually we get, uh, most of the time, I would say, like, 80% of the time we get hardbacks from authentic books, which I really, really like, but I'm okay with it. So uh, we also get fun things like this. I love that she did like a custom book plate with the author's signature. Super duper cool. And we have an author's note, which I will probably read to you. And then here is our lovely booklet that tells us all about it. This is uh, volume 78. And so basically it tells you, there's a little key, it tells you which sense that item is for. Uh, so we have, uh, we have sight, smell, again, the candle comes in every box. Then we have our taste number one, again, that's just in the full boxes. Taste number two, only in the premium boxes. And then we have touch one, two, and three. Now in the past, she has actually included page numbers for the inspiration for some of the items. And I think that will eventually come back now that they're all settled in their new space. But I do really love that because I like to be able to read the passages for you. Because of this one, because it was the Lonely Hearts book club that we read for our book club. And it takes place in uh, someone who basically has a personal library and in an actual library all of the items this time around were pretty much bookish so you didn't necessarily need to have you know specific inspirations uh, I did love all of the literary allusions and references uh, the three books that they read together was Remains of the Day the Joy Luck Club and then they decided on Anne of Green Gables which I thought was a really good selection we also always get a book cocktail and recipe which one of these days I'll have to make them Priscilla is really good about actually doing these which I love so the book cocktail is a muddle and mint green tea Moscow mule mocktail um, that sounds amazing also I love Moscow mules like I might not make it a mocktail but I do love them and our story uh, eats is some tea biscuits oh so that is really a great thing because there's a lot of food in this because one of the characters Maisie is always bringing food I was kind of hoping for like a breakfast sandwich but <laughs> because she does bring breakfast sandwiches which I'm always very impressed by people who do that then we always have like a meet the makers little feature that's kind of focusing on one of them a little editor's note from Natisha springtime is here and we are so excited to start our very own book club so they are doing their own book club as well and they're using I think fable is the app that they're using which I have to join up because I would like to follow along that way as well and then we also of course have uh, some codes from some of the other uh, makers that are in the box so it's just I'm always just so impressed with how much effort goes into this. So let me go ahead and uh, read the note to you. So it says, before you dive into the Lonely Hearts Book Club, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Writing a book about books feels kind of like cheating. One of my favorite things about bookstores and libraries is that you know you're among your people the moment you walk in the door. No matter what genre you're browsing, you can catch the eye of anyone else in the room and know we're book people we're readers. Although nowadays there's a lot of audiobook listeners. The Lonely Hearts Book Club is very much a book for book people. Every character in it from soft-spoken library Sloan and I prefer the movie version Maisie to the acerbic and erudite Ar Arthur is a reader. Their paths in life have been varied, lonely, and not always pleasant but the moment they sit down for their book club they know without question that they belong. I wrote this book for just such an audience. For the bookworms and the dreamers, the readers who crack open the cover of a book and immediately feel like they're coming home. I see you. I hear you. And I'm so excited to share my love of all things bookish with you. I hope you enjoy these characters as much as I do. And I did really enjoy it. I also loved that it didn't uh, necessarily have like a romantic storyline going along with it. A lot of us were sort of speculating that that could happen over in the Nobot Nook, in the book Nook. And I was really glad that it didn't, it didn't skew that way. So I really appreciated that. I will admit, I felt like I was cheating because to get started, I was just kind of of swamped after coming back from my trip so I started with the audiobook but I personally didn't like the narrator because they were tasked with so many different voices and I didn't think that the male voices were particularly good so it did force me to go back to actually reading the good old book which did seem a little bit more appropriate for a book about a book club for my book club <laughs> very meta though right all right so we did get a quote bookmark which we always did 
always get and we are back to having our silky tassels which I always love it says if life stories were written in ink not pencil once they were down the only thing you could do was turn the page so yes they're all at a very interesting crossroads in their life and I love how they all come together and support one another so we got the book for the sense of sight for the sense of smell we have our hand poured soy candle it's called introverts only and this was a collaboration with the author Introverts Only was inspired by the smell of a local library. Man, I used to love to smell old books. With notes of sweet white tea and musky palo santo. Our candles are always hand stirred and poured in the authentic book studio using non-toxic ingredients. We gotta love that. So yes, back in I think my middle school days, we had a very small library at my private school. And I tried to start a book club where we just like looked at the like worm-eaten old books that nobody had touched in decades. Uh, I was the sole... Uh, participant after about a week so but I do have a love for libraries even though I have become a little bit more of a dabbler in audiobooks too Ooh, that smells good I mean libraries honestly don't usually smell that good to me so we have some pretty little like jade pieces or glass pieces a little book charm I think that's a nice little touch I think that's awesome so it says again white tea that's what I'm smelling and musky palo santo not a lot of the Palo Santo. It almost has like a little bit of a masculine cologne scent. It's got that kind of fresh scent to it. So, you know, maybe it's uh, inspired by a hunky librarian. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I wish that my library smelled that good. It's a really nice scent, but I love the idea of lighting your candle and diving into your book. It's really great. So for taste number one, you could have gotten a cocktail mix, the Muddle and Mint Green Tea Mint. The coffee by Sunday mornings was a Heath Bar Crunch. That sounds amazing. Or the tea, which was a jar masala or masala tea, which is basically chai. So I do usually get the drink mix. So it got a little bit beat up in shipping, but here is my cocktail mix. But there's, you know, I could definitely drink it on its own or I could actually make the mocktail or maybe turn it into a cocktail because a mule sounds really good. I don't have the copper mug, but I do have copper mugs. I'm just too lazy to get them out of my cupboard because they're way up at the top. All right. So that again, the candle would be in all of them. There is a touch number one. I should have done this in order, you guys. So there is a touch number one that's also in the mini. Um, so we would have gotten in the mini, you would have gotten your book, of course, the bookmark, the book plate, the candle, and then you also would have gotten touch number one, which is this red wine daily sheet mask. We love sheet masks from Lapkos, as well as, it was like a double touch item, this is super cute. So this is the Authentic Books Original Meet Me at the Library tote bag, which I know Natisha worked on for a while to um, design. So it's got this nice, uh, you know, webbing, I guess, uh, handle these always come so crinkled and then because they usually have some plastics in them they're really hard to iron so I've done it before though I've managed to do it on very low heat be very very patient maybe steam it out first and then just like cover it with another material and then you can iron them out so but I, I hate a crinkled uh, strap it just drives me nuts so it says meet me at the library and then it does say established 1992 read return and repeat and then a very small authentic books little logo right there so I think that's really cute it does look like it has like a little foot to it so you can actually put some books in there I appreciate that in a book bag because sometimes when you get those really flat ones like that's not really gonna hold that many books um, so this is actually seems pretty good it's a very lightweight um, muslin or, or linen so it's it's not super heavy duty so I don't know how many actual hardback books you could carry in it but it is really cute and I think that it's fun that they included that in everybody's box including the uh, including the mini boxes. So usually like, you know, the touch number one would just be like the sheet mask, but the fact that she included that meet me at the library, a uh, little book bag, which is probably also available if you just want to buy it by itself or as an add on in a future box, which is also really something that's kind of cool about this subscription. Um, you could probably definitely, probably definitely, one of my fun contradictions uh, that I like to say a lot, you could get it. All right, so that would have been the mini boxes. And then the next level up is the full boxes. So you would have gotten a second touch item, which is these adorable bookshelf, bookshelf bamboo crew socks that's from infinity classics international if you're something of a bookworm our bookshelf bamboo crew socks is the look for you this cuddly crew sock is covered in an all-over bookshelf pattern and you guys i'm not usually one for a lot of whimsical socks but i think these are really really cute they're nice and thin so they'd be good dress socks and like boots or something and they're really cute and because they're bamboo rayon they're super soft 
so I actually might hold on to these because they're adorable. So I do like some bookish items, but like useful ones, right? So again, this would be in the full and premium boxes because it's touch number two. Uh, taste number one, like I said, you got the cocktail mix coffee or tea, and that is again in just the full and premium boxes. Taste number two, now we're on to the premium boxes. So the two additional items are a second taste item and a third touch item. Here's our chocolate. This is a new brand. So it says it's vegan and fairly traded. It's Romeo Sprouted Hazelnut and Fig. It's 70% Peruvian cacao, stone ground raw chocolate. So I'm not exactly sure where the tie-in is with this because I don't remember a hazelnut and fig, but again, Maisie makes a lot of food. So it says 70% stone ground raw chocolate topped with crunchy sprouted hazelnuts, sweet and chewy figs, and lightly sweetened cacao nibs. Now I have a like love-hate relationship with figs, but I'm interested to see how it works with a dark chocolate like this, but it sounds good. So Okay, I'll, I'll give that a shot. Um, probably not with my middle muddle and mint uh, mule, but maybe if I make some coffee or tea from another box. And then finally, our touch number three is also in a little authentic books bag. So this is only in the premium boxes. And it is a key ring. It says from the Introvert Social Club, lifetime member. So it says awkward interactions guaranteed. So it's from a company called Olora. So it's this very popular sort of vintage key ring style. It's like what you used to get at hotels and motels, that big plastic key ring. I think this is an interesting item to include just because yes, I know that a lot of people who are really into reading in books are introverts, but not all of us, right? You know, I, I feel like it's, I almost feel like it's like trendy to proclaim that you're an introvert, which in itself is not very introverted. And I know a lot of people are kind of a blend. I can have introverted tendencies too, but like this is not like something that I would use necessarily because one, I don't use a lot of keychains, but two, I don't necessarily consider myself an introvert. So it says introverts unite with this cheeky members only keychain. It is cute. I feel like this would be more of like an item that you would include as like touch number one that's in all the boxes because it's not necessarily, to me, it's not necessarily a super high value item. Or, you know, I would have reversed it with the tote because the tote seems like really special because it's an exclusive item to authentic books. But anyway, you guys, let me go ahead and, uh, uh, tell you a little bit more about the book. I'll read the blurb and then we will be done. But hopefully you will see some, uh, you will have a chance to watch our live stream. Priscilla and I will be on there like side by side and you guys can join in the chat. Again, that should be this evening. I usually try to time it at the same time and maybe it'll give you a good idea if you want to join in on our next book club. So it should be interesting because we should know Today or tomorrow, we should know the July selections and then we get that vote, that poll going on over in the Nobot Nook very soon. So, Sloan Parker lives a small contained life as a librarian in her small contained town. She never thinks of herself as lonely, but still she looks forward to that time every day when old curmudgeon Arthur McLaughlin comes to browse the shelves and cheerfully insult her. Their sparring is such a highlight of Sloan's day that when Arthur doesn't show up one morning, she's instantly concerned. Then another day passes, and another. Anxious, Sloane tracks the old man down to only to discover him all but bedridden and desperately struggling to hide how happy he is to see her. Wanting to bring more cheer into Arthur's gloomy life, Sloane creates an impromptu book club. Slowly, the lonely misfits of their sleepy town begin to find one another, and in their book club they find the joy of unlikely friendship. Because, as it turns out, everyone has a special book in their heart, and a reason to get lost and affect and eventually found within the pages. So let me know in the comments below, what is your special book? One that you like return to all the time, one that you find yourself um, making comparisons to, one that you find yourself quoting. I thought it was really special, the books that they shared with one another. Uh, and I also, like I said, I love the idea of these unlikely friendships. I think because his name is Arthur, I sort of pictured him as the Arthur in The Holiday, which is like one of my other like favorite holiday movies. I just thought it was cute. So I kind of envisioned him like that sweet old guy. Um, I will say that I wasn't totally into Sloane as a character. Uh, I came around to her towards the end, but if you guys read the book, you let me know. Um, and uh, let me know what you think about where she winds up relationship-wise, because I didn't feel like it was... Um, 
I didn't, I feel like it was sort of like tying things up really neatly uh, and making it easier than it would have maybe been in real life. But you guys let me know. That, that wasn't a big spoiler, but let me know in the comments below or join in on the book club discussion later tonight. And like I said, I would love to see you guys in our book club. I would love to see you in the Nobot Nook and the Nobot Book Nook, which is within the no bot nook. It's so hard. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please help me out with a thumbs up and I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.